Hi, it's Amanda from Webster's Marketplace, and today we are going to be making a strawberry rhubarb freezer jam. This recipe is so simple and so easy, and it's really great for beginners and those that are new to preserving. There's no water bath, no pressure canner, no muss, and no fuss. And at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to make a jam jar cocktail. That's where you make a delicious drink using just a teeny bit of jam left at the end of a jar. Are you ready? Because I sure am. Let's get to it. You'll start this recipe by combining eight ounces of freshly chopped rhubarb, which is about two cups, half a cup of granulated sugar, and the juice of half a lemon. Set over medium heat, stirring occasionally, and bring to a boil. Let the rhubarb cook for about five minutes until it's broken down. This will help it incorporate into our fresh strawberries much easier. While the rhubarb cools, we're going to start preparing the strawberries. This is a pound of fresh strawberries that have been rinsed and the green tops cut off. And to start preparing them, all we're going to do is gently crush them with a heavy glass to start releasing their juices and break them up. Now I'm going to transfer the berries that we've broken up with the glass to a bowl. And you could Begin mashing the berries in a glass bowl. I just find it easier on the baking sheet. You get a little more leverage and a little bit of a bigger work surface that's easier. You want to get all of the juice that started to come out of the strawberries. And to the berries, we are going to add four cups of granulated sugar and then mix to combine. Once the strawberries and sugar are mixed together really well, we are going to add the cooled rhubarb that we cooked down a little bit and the other half of that lemon. Juice that right in there. Then that gets mixed up. Now once the strawberries and rhubarb are combined, I'm going to add a package of pectin that I prepared according to the package instructions. This is regular pectin, not low sugar pectin. And I'm just going to stir this for three minutes. So the jam has been mixed for three minutes and now I'm going to transfer it to some clean and sanitized jam jars. When filling the jars, you'll want to leave about a half inch of headroom from the top as the jam will expand when it freezes. Once your jam jars are all filled, wipe the rims with a clean paper towel. Then close the jars with a clean and sanitized lid and band. And if you don't have canning jars, you could make this jam and store it in freezer safe plastic bags. Just lay it flat in the freezer and let the jam freeze solid. You could even freeze it in Tupperware if that's all you have. That's why I love this recipe so much. It's a freezer jam, so you don't need to worry about the water bath or the pressure canner or anything like that. All you have to do is make it and freeze. Now, before these go in the freezer, I'm just going to wipe the outsides with a damp paper towel just to get any excess jam that may have dripped off while we were filling the jars. You don't want them sticky on the outside. And there you have it, strawberry rhubarb freezer jam. This will keep in your freezer for up to one year. And when you're ready to use it, all you have to do is thaw it in the fridge overnight. So you've made your delicious strawberry rhubarb freezer jam and you've been eating it nonstop. And now you have a jar that's got just a little bit left in it. It is the perfect time to make a Wisconsin 75, which is my jam jar version of a French 75. To the jam jar, we are going to add one ounce of gin. Next we are going to add half an ounce of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Then you're going to put on the lid and shake up all of that jammy goodness. Once that's all shaken up, pour it into a champagne flute and then we're going to top the glass with a little bit of Prosecco or sparkling wine. How delicious does that look? And then you can just garnish it with a fresh strawberry, and a little twist of lemon. Cheers!